What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks vlog. This is me Sameer and in today's video we're going to discuss about Apple's next flagship phone and that is of course iPhone 16 series. I know you guys are excited so without wasting any time let's start today's video. So let's start with the first and foremost thing and that is of course when we can see the next iPhone iteration then my friend normally Apple release their flagship phones of course those are iPhones in the fall season and if you want me to be more specific I'll bet my money on month of September that would be the time where Apple will launch new iPhone and this time it would be iPhone 16 series so that was my educated guess but now let's talk about what we have in terms of of concrete leaks and rumors let's talk about display upgrades size matters right even apple thinks that way because in the next iteration of iphone 16 pro series of lineup apple might increase the size of the display from 6.1 inches to 6.3 inches of iphone 16 pro and from 6.7 inches to 6.9 inches of iPhone 16 Pro Max that's a really huge upgrade in terms of screen real estate and i assure you single hand usage will be a problem this time because the pro variant is getting larger by 0.2 inches and that means it already had the thickness now it will have the height that simply means that the perfect size which i loved 6.1 inches of screen is gone from pro variants and this is the last time we could see and that is of course in iphone 15 So if we talk about the non-pro variants my friend we won't be able to see any changes by Apple in the base variant and the plus variant in terms of display size as the base variant will continue to come with 6.1 inches and the plus of course has 6.7 inches as always The rumor suggests that Apple might be working on a new section of button on the 16 series with the name of capture button but I still think that this capture button will firstly gonna be introduced with iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max then might come later to the normal iPhones. So as the name suggests capture button could be used to capture videos photos and could also start sound recording most of the functions are same as action button but this particular button will be more focused towards capturing videos and photos and one more thing this particular button will come on the same side as of power button on your iphone let's talk about what we'll gonna see under the hood of iphone 16 series well apple's cooking a new a series chip built on the latest n3e 3 nanometer node despite using the same nanometer architecture we might able to see better efficiency better performance and better heat management and apple is very secretive on this particular project as they had a bit of a blunder with the launch of iphone 15 series so only information we have is that the nanometer architecture will be same but it will perform better compared to the last iteration of a series that is a17 pro but one thing which i truly believe and that is apple might not change the nomenclature of their a series chip like they did with the release of iphone 15 series because the normal base variant of iphone 15 came with a16 bionic and the pro variants which are of course iphone 15 pro and pro max came with a17 pro so this time apple might name the chip a18 and will divide it into two parts and that is of course the pro variant and the base variant which will come into the respective iPhones leaks and rumors also suggest that apple is leaning quite into ai hence this particular chip will have improved npu npu stands for neural processing unit and because of which ai functions will be implemented on the latest and greatest iphone 16 series so wait 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 Before moving forward we have already made a dedicated video on AI features coming to iOS 18 and of course to iPhones if you are interested go here and watch it it is obvious to presume that the A18 Pro chip will going to be the world's most powerful and you know performance oriented chip on the mobile phone as the A17 Pro is still on the top in terms of performance and speed when you compare it with other chip manufacturers for example snapdragon or mediatek not only in the processors we might also see increase in the ram as well as apple might introduce plus 2gb of ram on the base variants of iphone 
till date we only get the iPhones for 6GB of RAM the non pro variants of course but with the launch of iPhone 16 series that will be pumped up to 8GB of RAM and of course with more RAM comes more performance and lastly let's talk about one thing for which we tend to buy our iPhones again and again for the better image quality if you guessed it do let me know in the comment section we are going to talk about cameras so let's address the elephant in the room and that is Apple is going to try a new camera array system at the back of the iPhone 16. It is going to be vertical this time, not diagonal like the older generations. And people who are still using iPhone X and of course iPhone 11 or iPhone 12, it's time to rejoice because the vertical camera section is coming back on the iPhones. And in my opinion, iPhone 10 was and is and going to be the best premium iPhone Apple has ever made. That is my personal opinion. Do let me know in the comment section, which is that one particular iPhone you love the most. So one feature which got introduced with iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max is getting its way to iPhone 16 non-pro variants and I am talking about spatial video. Using this feature, you can capture the video with depth in it and experience it in your Apple's Vision Pro. But we won't see any megapixel bump this time because Apple has already given that into the last iteration of iPhone, which was iPhone 15. So I don't think this time Apple will increase the megapixel count on the iPhone 16 series. And one lens which made a quite a few headlines with the launch of iPhone 15 Pro Max and that is of course Tetra Prism lens. So Apple might also introduce that particular lens in the Pro series as well not only in the Pro Max series in the next iteration of iPhone. That means iPhone 16 Pro will have Tetra Prism lens similar to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So now you will be able to get the same experience on the Pro Max and the Pro as well, which I think wasn't justified with the launch of iPhone 15 series. And lastly, let's conclude this video with talking about battery, modems and other miscellaneous thing. Well, Apple is working on a new stacked battery technology which will increase the lifespan of your iPhone and the battery backup on it. Apple analyst Ming Chiko also suggests that the iPhone 16 series will come with Wi-Fi 7 which is the latest and the greatest generation of Wi-Fi improving speeds and reliability. And talking about 5G modems, Apple will going to use the Snapdragon modems as well with X75 model number. So all in all, if we conclude the video, iPhone 16 is shaping up to be a very good phone with some minor improvements leading to a very big leap in experience. So how did you like it? Do let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, do press the like button and also while you are down there make sure you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any iphone 16 news articles or anything related to apple make sure you subscribe to the channel and one more thing go to app store download igb app so that you enjoy amazing wallpapers for your iphone and everything apple content there as well and on this note this is me samir signing off and i'm going to see you in the next one till then tada see ya Bye.